Tulip, we have an emergency girl because this person watching this video right now is not giving me a smile and you already know, Miss Tulip, how I feel about people not giving us a smile. <laughs> hey girl. Howdy, 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 my beautiful Libras. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your monthly tarot reading for December 2021, Libra. So if you find some tarot cards that resonate with you, let me know in the comments below, because that's how we keep up with you, Libra, is hearing how the tarot cards resonate as well. I always really do appreciate it, Libra, when you guys take that extra step to give this video a like and subscribe, because it does help me out a lot, and it's completely free to do. So let's just get into your monthly predictions for December 2021, darling Libra. I also do your weekly tarot reading every single Wednesday if you want to check that out. So let's get into this. And also remember, if you want to book a private personal reading with me, Libra, my website's linked down below, simplyvalco.com. Be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign um, to get the full picture, the full understanding of what's going to be happening for you. We have here the Queen of Wands stepping forward to you, Libra. And then we have the King of Pentacles coming in as well. And then for your third card right now, we have the Four Swords stepping forward. So Libra, I do, you know, with that Four of Swords here, darling, Four of Swords represents healing. Four of Swords takes, it's like a time of where, Libra, I'm getting this impression that in the month of December, you're finally going to be able to start breathing again, I feel. I feel as if uh, it's uh, this healing comes in through your own successes, Libra, because I see you as this Queen of Wands energy. Kind of fitting when you think about it. For I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense to y'all in the moment but i'm a libra scorpio cusp and i when i sat down i was like you know what darling i feel like red right now i feel like red i feel like gold darling right and so i feel like it's very in line with the queen of wands energy very much so passion fueled for you guys and then when you have the king of pentacles coming in as well i just see this to be a very prosperous fortunate time for you guys libra i see through your own personal endeavors something that you feel extremely passionate about because of that queen of wands libra i'm seeing that's where a lot of success comes in uh, you know whatever the situation is for you guys for many of you libras i'm getting this impression very much so in terms of career and making like your side hustle more of like your main hustle uh sort of thing and if you already are doing your side hustle i do definitely see a lot more money coming in um i do see during this month libra you guys are going to be laying down the foundation and setting yourself up very strongly for your future um this isn't just a situation libra of where you're going to be having just like a random week of just like a nice inflow of money this is we're talking like a lot more uh think more generational at this point you're putting in the investments now libra um, so that this business right whatever you're building up with that empire as that king of pentacles through your hard work as the queen of wands it's there for a long time it sets you up much uh deeper than just like a nice quick raise or a bonus or anything like that now i do see um for those that do work like a nine to five um definitely being rewarded for the harder that you work uh libra it does feel as if um, for those that do work a nine to five, you might be receiving some type of bonus that uh, really heals a lot of your financial stresses as well is something that I'm getting. Um, I also want to point out to Libra that I'm getting this impression that um, even th like it's as you maneuver through uh, December, darling Libra, um, you have a lot of healing experience through just the success that you get as the Queen of Wands. Because as the Queen of Wands, she takes risks, right? She leads with her heart. And even though it's like deep down, you know that you're meant for something bigger, Libra, uh, it's always nice to have the, those physical affirmations. And so because of this Four of Swords here, I'm willing to bet for many of you Libra, Libras, you guys have been going through a little bit of a tough period. Um, yeah. Ooh, powerful. So look up the number six in numerology, Libra, to see how that resonates with you uh, for this month. See what messages six has. But we have the, what is this car bird called? The Bower Bird? Bower Bird? I'm going to call it the Bowser Bird, honey. Um, the Bowser Bird. <laughs> Dowry. So very much so, Libra, is something that you're owed, really, right? Something that you're entitled to. 
it's like you're receiving your dowry for just the hard work that you're putting in definitely just a huge month of payoff for you i see just truly just a lot of financial success or just a lot of success in some type of avenue in your life that you've been putting a lot of energy into something that you took a pretty big risk with as well is something that i'm guessing and probably Libra, this is something that you already are in the process of doing. You probably started this journey, this risk for a little bit now, right? And, you know, you took this risk and you haven't really received any type of, maybe you've had something here or there, right? Little breadcrumbs, but you haven't had like the full loaf sailing, right? You haven't had the cornucopia, the ace of pentacles of abundance yet for it. So don't, I want to be saying, Libra, don't worry. It's absolutely coming. You're about to be receiving your dowry uh, for sure. I don't know why I'm struggling saying that so much we have the ace of swords coming in here definitely some fabulous ideas uh for my libras i feel like you, this is going to be a very inspiring month for you guys libra i feel as if for many of you guys um it's through these ideas that you have um that's what helps uh, uh allow you to get further into your success and helping you navigate navigate I, I really do sense libra for this ace of swords i still get this impression that this isn't something that just is like randomly happens in december i feel like you already like the gears have already started turning for you libra many of you guys probably have already started planning out like your game plan or things that you wanted to accomplish for 2022 uh, I do feel as if um, that's going to be a little bit fast put on, on a more fast pace, right? You know, you were planning for all, a bunch of things for 2022 that you're going to be doing, right? Maybe you wanted to do a YouTube channel. Maybe you wanted to open up your Etsy store, whatever the case is for you, Libra. I feel like through events during this month, it's going to just be fast paced and actual and in actuality, uh, your future starts now, right? The big plans that you have for yourself are going to begin now rather than later final card here the full card energy come on libra yeah you guys libra are about to be stepping into a new fabulous journey in terms of my libras that are very much so career oriented uh, my libras that are trying to bring forth a lot more financial success trying to uh break the uh patterns of what with your relationship with money maybe beforehand libra you couldn't ever conceptualize what it would be like to have like your own place or maybe you couldn't conceptualize truly like you always wanted these desires but it never felt quite real to you they always felt like they were like far off dreams of yours or daydreaming about it more so than actually having it be like something of reality it feels as if the things that you have daydreamed about the things that you have like wished upon a star darling wished for your on your birthdays when you blow out the candles things are going to start feeling very very real for you very quickly uh libra and so for those that are self-employed you i do see you guys just getting a lot more attention um especially with both the queen and the king um coming in here i do feel as if a lot of people are going to be respecting your craft in some type of way uh libra so definitely don't hold yourself back this month libra you have a very creative mind you have a really good mind for business and how to bring forth a lot more financial abundance in your life and just overall success in general it doesn't have to be about finances right so let's continue on for you libra let's see what relationships are going to be looking like for you during this month of december we have the Ace of Cups stepping forward, Libra. So for my single Libras out there, darling, you're about to have your cake and eat it too, darling. Not only are you going to be having your financially and career-wise things are looking just passion-oriented, things are looking pretty fabulous for you guys, but then you get into the social aspect wherever it's about love darling i definitely see love coming in for you your heart chakra opening up with that ace of cups i see you know it also represents opportunities as well i want to point out um definitely a very positive sign for my libras that are single fitting time as well right because this is considered cuffing season right during these cold months darling need someone to snuggle up to you have the emperor card coming in as well definitely someone who libra you're going to be attracting 
when I see the potential of having that this in your space as someone of uh, I wanted to say like of upper echelon <laughs> I don't know where that comes from I never even I don't think I've ever used that those words before out loud um, but that's kind of what I feel is like very upper echelon energy that you're attracting not only in terms of your finances but just the people that you're attracting as well some of you Libras you might be attracting someone especially if you are more self-employed and have more creative pursuits you might be attracting someone that is in that same field i like to just use analogies libra just for um to be able to express like what these messages actually mean and so i'll use myself as the example where it's just like you know maybe i end up attracting someone that also is a um influencer of some type Ugh. or like a tarot reader i don't like say <laughs> influencer influencer just sounds a little, a little bit cringe to me right now um you know just in that field i feel like you might be attracting someone it doesn't have to be romantic as well it could just be a nice partnership someone that you feel really open to six of wands coming in here okay yeah libra this person coming in here is very successful in whatever their field is and i still do get the impression libra um based off of what we were talking into prior uh, I get a very strong impression that whoever is coming in here um, is in the same field maybe in the same workplace as you maybe of a higher position than you or just is a lot more settled into their craft definitely a lot of attention uh, being put on you at this time you're attracting a lot to libra the energies for you for the month of December are very powerful right now very abundant for you right and so as, as, as what I really want to be putting out there for you, Libra, is that make it a point this month to network, you know, join Facebook groups, join different types of groups of your field, because I do definitely see that's how you're going to be attracting this person coming in for you. That brings forth a lot more abundance into your life just in general, because, again, I still get this impression that this person is somehow connected towards a little bit of your financial success. And I'm not saying this person is like you're going to be like your sugar daddy your sugar mama honey i just see this person being able to help elevate um what it is that you already have as well and i feel like this is going to be a nice connection for you um you know again with that ace of cups i feel like this is just someone that you really do respect and can trust breaking the patterns five of swords breaking patterns from many of you libras you guys have been really connecting with a bunch of different energies for a while now probably for the past few months of just very underwhelming connections or connections that uh you feel like you have to put in all the work but you're not getting any of the payout, right? Uh, or just very, just not very reliable energy is what I feel. But you're not attracted. It feels as if like any type of person that you've tried to work with before in the past, it just hasn't been working out. So uh, Libra, what I want to be saying is when you have this person come in and they share some type of similar interest to you or in the same field as you, I do want to say it's okay to open up to this energy here um, because again, I do feel as if you might be a little bit more standoffish currently just based off of maybe your streak of bad luck when it comes to trying to connect with people. You know, maybe you've been stressing out in the sense of being like, why can't people just act normal around you? Why can't people just uh like you for you right there's always just something um that someone's trying to get from you or trying to bring more out of you than actually just a nice organic relationship in whatever way whether that's platonic or romantic for you libra you have the eight of swords here this person is definitely going to be helping you getting out of a, yeah it's like this sense of just getting you out of stuck in a situation um maybe it's in your environment libra or maybe it's just again like i do feel so strongly for many of you libras it's somehow they help get you stuck unstuck from your some type of passion or career pursuit of some type they definitely get you out of like some type of energy and get the uh forward momentum going for you so let's get a little bit more detail when it comes to this energy of this person libra let's see what more we can get from this 
you have the nine of wands this is someone who definitely has been a little bit of a loner i really wouldn't be surprised libra if they have strong fire in their chart or maybe they're just extremely passionate uh libra because i'm noticing just such a common theme of just a lot of wands energy um in this reading just a lot of passion a lot of fiery energy in this this is someone who generally is a loner um probably somebody libra you probably on some level you want to anticipate them engaging with you on any level um that is something that i get is that you you definitely already know this person i feel i feel like you've already set eyes on them before or laid your eyes on them beforehand but maybe you never engaged with them or tried to have any type of conversation with them yeah, this is interesting, Libra. And then the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, darling, Libra, this person is very well off. You're really going to be attracting someone that is very financially successful, very successful in the, their pursuits. And I feel like this is someone that is just very passionate as well. And I feel like you're very much so inspired by this. Um, this is someone that, you know, um, the way you can identify this energy is someone that is, um, and I feel like that's a nice change of pace for you as well. I feel as if for many of you Libras, you're always so used to attracting people that you always are having to uplift yourself or help them motivate them or getting, you know, trying to get them more productive and what have you. This is an energy where it's just like they're already settled into their own hustle. They share the same mindset of you, Libra, of a lot. I feel like they share like a lot of similarities in this sense. And I just get this impression that with this energy here, it's, you know, immediately that this is different for you because it's just a nice change of pace behind being like, um, you know, as like a random analogy, you're used to being like having to, um, pay the bill darling right or you're used to um being like the big player of the connection and i feel as if this is someone that's either of your same caliber darling if we're gonna view it in that way or someone that is again like that upper echelon um much higher vibrational um or like much more successful energy than just what you're used to in general all right so very fabulous in all fronts libra very very fabulous for all in all fronts um definitely i feel like this is as this reading continued i do definitely feel like this energies um both socially and career-wise are very intertwined for you uh libra and so final advice for you page of wands as well as the justice card coming in our energy libra so yeah you're going to be feeling extremely empowered for the month of december and it's through it's continuing on in that pattern of wands energy through new opportunities coming in doors are opening up for you libra and it's just your job to be walking through darling all right make yourself available make it a point to network this month put yourself out there libra because i do see by the end of this month uh you guys are really going to be feeling in your element you're going to be feeling really good with where you're at and the people that you are around libra so good luck my beautiful darlings let me know what your passion project is let me know what you think this is about if you know this person darling already right if you have an idea of who this might be uh let me know in the comments below remember libra if you want to book a private personal reading with me my website's linked down below simply Velka dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram also just being simply valka um and until next time my beautiful libras i love you so much darling bye